Welcome back to another episode of Fresh Gear Fridays. Today, I want to talk about some of the products that have been announced since NAM 2023 happened, share with you some of my thoughts about them and kind of what I'm excited for. So let's get into it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sunday Tone. I'm Brendan and today we are talking about some new products that are coming up or that have been announced that I'm excited for. Um, so if you want to learn more about any of these pedals, any of this gear, check out the links below. I'll put links to videos, to you know websites where you can learn a lot more about this stuff. So the first thing that I want to talk about today is the Wampler. Corey Wong compressor. And I don't know what it is, but lately I feel like there's so many compressors that I'm excited for or that I wanna get. And I honestly, if you look at my ward, I don't have a compressor right now. So I don't know what it is. I just like to talk about compressors apparently. This is a new compressor that I believe is based off of the Ego compressor, which Corey had uh, previously been using. And it's kind of like his tweaks to that pedal. Um, and there's a couple special things about it. So for one, he added a boost to the compressor. So you have a, a boost that is on the right that you can engage. And what's cool about it is it has a flat EQ that you can engage or kind of like a mid hump EQ that you can engage with the boost. So I think that's really nice to have a pedal that has an extra kind of utility to it, not just the compressor, but also has a boost that you can use and kind of save some space on your board. So the next thing that Corey added that's really cool is a switch on the side that basically makes the pedal always on. So you can hit the main uh, bypass switch and the pedal will stay on no matter what. So what this is good for is if you're using that boost a lot and you accidentally hit the bypass switch, it's not gonna switch the pedal off. So it's kind of a cool feature to have. And the next thing that he did uh, was added an XLR out that also has a ground lift on it. So what's nice about this is you can run direct whether you're running into a recording interface and just wanna get some super clean, compressed guitar sounds, or you could use it for an acoustic. Um, there's a lot of cool things you could do with that for recording, um, but it's a nice feature to have in a pedal like this. So another thing that I'm excited for that was announced at NAMM is the Neural DSP Cortex Control. So the Quad Cortex is a really cool kind of all-in-one amp modeling and effects unit that I've always thought would be really cool to have. I've seen a ton of players use them and I would love to have one, but I just can't afford it. It's a little pricey uh, for me, um, but it's cool to see the updates that they're doing to it. You know, it's kind of, we're in this era where you have these pedals where they can, you know, constantly be pushing firmware updates where you get new features and you get new sounds. Um, I know Line 6 does the same thing with, with the Helix pedals, but uh, they announced their Cortex Control, which I know a lot of people have been waiting for. And what that allows you to do is to have a desktop editor, where you're, whether you're on your laptop or your uh, desktop computer, you can go in and control your presets, you can build presets, you can build uh, all of your effects in and then have that automatically updated on your uh, Quad Cortex. So there's not a lot of details about it. I've seen a couple videos about it of people demoing it. It looks really cool. I'll try to throw some of that in here. Um, but I'm not sure when the release date is for it yet. I don't know if they've announced that yet, but I know this is something that people have been really excited for. You know, sometimes it's nicer to just be able to edit things on the desktop where you have a mouse and keyboard instead of trying to do it all on a screen on, uh, on the floor. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the reissue of the diamond pedals. So if you're not familiar with diamond pedals, these are some really famous pedals where they were really famous for the memory lane and their compressor and their tremolo pedal. 
um, but they kind of went out of business a little while ago and a company called Solid Gold Effects kind of picked up the company is now reissuing some of those pedals. I know I always loved the compressor pedal they have, the memory lane and the tremolo, but they also have other circuits that have been really popular as well. Um, so for this initial release, they re-released the memory lane, the compressor, a bass compressor, a drive pedal, and the tremolo. And what's cool is they're all in a smaller enclosure, they all have top-mounted jacks, and they just seem really cool. So I would love a chance to try out some of these pedals. Um, they look really cool, and um, if you're a fan of any of those uh, older versions of those pedals, I think you'll be really excited to uh, pick up one of these pedals or check these out. So another product that was announced at NAMM this year that I'm excited for is the Rev Amps D25. And the D25 is kind of a evolution of their D20 head that they had previously. And this is a 6v6 tube uh, with a 12AX7 preamp. Um, so it's kind of a classic American, classic Fender sound that is super clean and great as like a pedal platform. But you all of their uh, amps come with a two notes uh, torpedo uh, embedded in them and what that allows you to do is have a really nice direct out whether you want to run to front of house whether you're playing at church or you're playing at home and you want to be able to easily record without having to mic things up um, but you have this awesome feature that a lot of us buy you know things like the ox box the two notes torpedo all these extra pieces of gear just to be able to do that and having it built directly into the amp is really awesome. So I'm really excited for this amp. I'm excited to see what Rev Amps does in the future. I believe you can uh, option it with either a uh, V30 or a Creamback speaker. So it depends how you wanna set it up and there's a lot of customization with it. Um, and everything I've heard from this amp sounds really cool. I would love to play one. I would love to own one if I could afford it. Um, uh, but the Rev Amps D25 seems really awesome. And so the final piece of gear I wanna share with you today is the Cornerstone Music Gear Coliseum. And if you're not familiar with Cornerstone, they kind of are famous for their Gladio dual overdrive that is kind of, uh, it's kind of like a Dumble style dual overdrive. Um, and I've seen a lot of players uh, using this pedal recently. Um, and they also have a couple other uh, pedals that are really cool. Um, and I'm really excited for this new pedal they've announced called the Coliseum, which is uh, a blues breaker circuit on one side and a clon circuit on the other. And uh, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of blues breaker circuits. I'm a huge fan of clon circuits, and I've never had the chance to have a pedal that actually puts those two together. I know there's others out there. Um, I just haven't had a chance to try them. Um, but this pedal looks really awesome. Everything I've heard about this company is that they make really high quality stuff. So this is something that I would love to try. Um, and what's cool about it is the Blues Breaker side has a clean blend on it, um, which I haven't seen any other Blues Breaker style pedals that have that. So that's another really cool thing, a way to get clarity out of the circuit, a way to just have a different sound um, when you need it. And then on the Klon side, what's cool is it has a clipping uh, blend knob. So you can kind of uh, blend between the classic Klon diodes um, and uh, kind of blend between that and some different settings in there. So you can get some different sounds in it, which is really cool. And I saw a few demos of it. I think uh, that pedal show, Dan and Mick did a really cool uh, demo of the Coliseum. But I also saw a demo from Nam of it where it showed some really cool foot switch things that you could do where if you like held down one of the full uh, foot switches, it would engage both at the same time or um, you could flip between the two without having to like double tap and do all this stuff. So it seems like they're building a bunch of really cool features into what could just be a simple dual overdrive. It's cool to see uh, just those extra little things that they put in there like the 
the clipping diode uh, blend knob and uh, the clean blend knob and the just different foot switch options. A lot of really cool stuff that I, I know not everyone is doing uh, with their pedals, but I'm really excited for the Coliseum. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Fresh Gear Fridays. Let me know what gear you're excited for. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one.